Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it is Monday afternoon. If you've just watched yesterday's vlog, this is literally like two hours later. So I am doing the shopping again. So it's bank holiday Monday today. Um, and as the weather was a bit rubbish, we didn't go anywhere this afternoon. So I've come out to do the shopping. <clears throat> well, mind you, I had to come out a little bit earlier because Tesco's closes at eight. So I need to be done and dusted and out by then anyway. So it's about half past five. I've been in Asda for about an hour and a half altogether. I've done two trips round. Um, well, one and a half because I only had half a trolley on the second time round. Um, there's been quite a lot of price increases this week that I noticed. Things like... Um, some of the boxes of cereal, so crunchy nut cornflakes, they'd gone up to like five pound a box, the big box, the kilogram box. Um, and now they're marking it at five pound twenty, but saved thirty p. So it must have gone up to five pound fifty, and then they've knocked um, thirty p off to make it look like you're getting a bargain, but you're not really because it was only five pounds before. Um, I also noticed that something else that had gone up in price quite a lot toothpaste has gone up some of the toothpaste we've used the um what's going on with my hair we use the oral b um professional protection toothpaste because it's the only one that agrees with a lot of like the older girls and our teeth the little ones use um aquafresh and the little teeth ones and the milk teeth ones obviously for the baby um toothpaste that suits all of us because i've got really sensitive teeth some of the girls have got really sensitive teeth ben's got quite sensitive teeth i can't use the whitening toothpastes because i find that they make my teeth um really weak and really over sensitive even the ones that are whitening and sensitive it seems to make my teeth really um sore just really sensitive so that seems to be the best one that everybody can kind of get on with and when i buy the big 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 tube I swear it was less than that last time I bought it. But that was £3.50. Um, yeah, so things seem to have... For a few weeks, it didn't seem that things were going up as much. And things seems there seems to be quite a lot of things that have jumped up in price this week. Or maybe I'm just noticing it more. But then I do normally look, try and look at all the prices. Um, frozen stuff, no doubt I'll probably get into Tesco's in a minute and find that some of the stuff I've bought in Asda is cheaper in Tesco's. Um... But actually, as to have been a bit ransacked today, so there wasn't actually that much on the shelves. Everything seems to have been, um, there wasn't like much biscuits or much biscuits, many biscuits. Um, and a lot of the shelves were cut. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't get delivery on bank holiday. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit ransacked. But we managed to get most of the things, I think. So I'm cooking. Um, the girls want me to try and do a sesame chicken dish tomorrow so uh i've got instructions of which ingredients to buy although i couldn't get them all in in asda so i'll have to go into tesco to see if i can get the rest i've never cooked sesame chicken before but it looks nice um so i'll give it a go i need to start trying to do more dishes and the girls keep finding recipes and suggesting them to me which is actually easier for me because I don't always have time to look through and find dishes. So if there's something that they think they might like and that everybody, everybody will like, then I'm happy to give it a go. Although now I need a spice rack because my cupboard's getting full of spices and I don't have anywhere to put them. So I'm gonna have to look at, at getting some kind of spice rack. Anyway, um, as this done, I'm going to Tesco's. Right, I'm done. It's about half past six and i can't remember what time we left the house it must have been about 20 to 4 so it's been about three hours it does take me about three hours to do my shopping um because it just does because there's just a lot of things to buy um yeah i think everything seems to have gone up again so tesco's cheese seems to have gone up i buy the um I can't remember what the brand is called, but it's the Tesco own brand, um, or one of the cheap own brand cheeses. We buy the um, 
the Scottish cheddar, which is like orange, but it's really, really nice. It's not red Leicester, it's cheddar. It's really, really nice. Um, so it's only like basic, basic cheese, but we buy the big block and it's normally about four pounds. Um, I mean, it does go on weight, obviously, yes, but it's the same sort of size as I normally buy. And, oh, it's a police car. Um, it's five pounds this week, so that's gone up like a pound. Um, I buy it, the, the, I mean, it's the cheapest one there, but it's also um, the, the nicest one. It's the one that everybody likes the most. So we get through quite a lot of cheese. Um, so yeah, everything seems to have crept up a little bit this week. But I think I've managed to get... The only thing I can't get this week, which is really annoying, they don't have any bananas in either supermarket. They hadn't didn't have any strawberries. They didn't really have very much fruit at all, to be honest. Um, so then children are not going to be happy because they haven't got any bananas. I managed to get grapes and apples. I couldn't get any kiwi fruits either. Um, but we do have some kiwi fruits at home. So I'm going to have to try and go out either tomorrow or Wednesday and get some more fruit. The other thing is, Isabel is going to make a lemon drizzle cake for Ben. Um, well, for all of us, but especially for Ben, because he likes lemon drizzle cake. Um, but we've got lemon, lemon kind of, what is lemon, 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 what do you call it? Lemon, lemon drizzle? it's not juice. It's not lemon juice, like it's lemon. Correct in a bottle you know you know what i mean like jiff um but not jiff as in the cleaning jiffy lemon you know what i mean anyway i can't think what it's called we've got that but you need lemon zest for a lemon drizzle cake lemon lemon drizzle cake and i can't get a lemon i couldn't get a lemon so we're gonna have to go to the co-op tomorrow and try and get a lemon just couldn't get a lemon um so yeah haven't got much fruit couldn't get much fruit which is quite annoying um so i'll have to try and get some more because we've got enough to last us probably a day in what i've bought today so i have to try and get some more fruit um but i think i've got everything for the sesame chicken uh i think the only thing what there was something else i couldn't get hold of i can't think what it was now i just realized i forgot to get ice as well I hate, I hate going in, getting all the stuff and then coming out and realising you've forgotten something. Someone's got to go to the shop tomorrow because I don't want to have to go back in. Anyway, I'm going home now um, to unload this lot. How you doing guys? So it's Bank Holiday Monday and we have been doing our weekly shopping haul again. I say we, Zoe's literally just come back. It's about quarter past seven. So we've just managed to get everything laid out. Everything's done, it's put out. The girls have helped me again. So um, we've been to Tesco's, we've been to Asda. I say we, I mean Zoe, I've been to Tesco's and Asda. Uh, there was some um, things she couldn't get. I think she's already discussed that, but I'll be going through it all again and just talking about what we've bought what the meal plans are for this week and yeah just the normal um weekly big shop grocery haul right here we go then guys so as per usual we have pepsi max in the back there pepsi max we've got the usual juice kiddies juice uh so we've got the quadruple strength stuff so the cherries and berries and the summer fruits same as we say every week we have got milk we have got green milk we've got blue milk for florence because that's what she's on now she's on the blue milk uh, we prefer the green milk, that's, that's our favourite. Um, and then we also have, what do we got hiding back here? Summer fruit sparkling water for the kiddies and some Mac B for the kiddies as well. Obviously, uh, this one, the Cherry Pepsi Max is mine and Zoe's favourite tipple of choice because we don't drink. So that's that's what we like. And we've been through lots of different things before, lots of different flavours of pop and all that kind of stuff. And that's our favourite. Anyway, let's move down to the front then. So Bis have got some biscuits here. So we've got some custard cream, some bourbons there. We've got Agnes's little free from mini caterpillars that she likes. That's her little treat when she can't have uh, the same sort of treats as the others. So she has her little caterpillars. Then we've got the Oreos there for uh, packed lunches. The kids are off school uh, today, so Monday, and they're also off school Thursday, Friday for inset days, but still we'll top up for packed lunches and stuff like that. And Oreos are milk free, just to let, if you didn't know that, so Oreos are milk free. Uh, Jaffa cakes, because a certain little monkey is taken to Jaffa cakes now. She really likes those for a little treat after she's had her tea and everything. 
She likes uh, lots of picky food now. She's also trying things like we gave her a bit of mash and gravy. She loved that. But in any case, we still buy her some of the... Oh, we're on the thicker stuff now as well. We're on the thicker stuff. So we, um, we've got some spring vegetables and chicken casserole there with rice. Look at that with rice and a hint of tarragon. So there we go. That's one. Some tomato and mozzarella spaghetti. Uh, what else have we got there? That's the same sort of thing. And it's the spring vegetables and chicken casserole. Uh, and then we've got the old um, Ella's Kitchen stuff. So the green, that's the Ella's Kitchen fruit. So she has the Ella's Kitchen fruit with her cereal in the morning. So she has like this porridgey stuff in the mornings that I normally show you. But we've got we've still got tons of it left because obviously she's on the more solid food now. And she, do you know what? She absolutely loves mash and gravy. She loves it. Right then, so we've got Go Go Squeeze up here for Agnes. So that's Agnes's fruit replacement. This is all quite finely balanced. And um, just as a little, another little treat for Agnes because she dips out now and again. Is we top up her free from stuff. So she's got some free from giant chocolate bones, just for a treat when the, when the kiddies have something from their sweetie box as well. So that's a top up for Agnes. That's Agnes's as well. That's all of her fruit there. The go go squeeze, which she absolutely loves. It was a really good replacement for fruit. Uh, moving forward then, so I've talked about all that. We have more Oreos there because obviously we try to top up on things that are milk free for Agnes so she doesn't miss out and she can have things like that for her afters and stuff like that uh, for snacks. And then at the front there we have apple juice. So we haven't got, got through as much apple juice this week for some reason. I have no idea. We normally get through four, but we've only got two this week. So so that's, that's good. So we've obviously haven't drunk as much. Right then, only one block of cheese this week. Uh, we've still got the spare cheese. So who knew? So he's only bought two cheese last two blocks of cheese last week uh, because we can only get the smaller packets of cheese. So she she kind of panicked a little bit and bought two, but we've still got one in the fridge. So that's just another one there, just in case. So there's a little cheese top up there. We've then got the um, sandwich for this. So we've got the wafer thin honey roast ham slices there. We have the wafer thin roast chicken slices for sandwiches. And behind there we have mine and Zoe's. We're, we're back on the old, um, we're back on the old uh, salted caramel corner things again. So the bliss corner cheesecakes. They're all back in and, and they're back on normal price. So, um, so we're back. So we're back on those. Thankfully. Then we've got a chocolate mousse top up for the kids because they have those for um, afters and stuff like that. So there's the Asda's Just Essentials there. And then moving across, we have the, I'm guessing the animal yogurts were the cheapest this week. And we're having to buy two boxes now, two packets a week, because uh, a certain little person's loving her yogurts as well. So she absolutely loves the yogurts flow. And um, so she had one for lunch and then maybe she'll have one for afters as well, when she's having her main meal. So we've got yogurts there. Then we've got some cheese strings there for packed lunches. We've got Eva's pepperami minis, because she loves those for her pat lunches. Then we've got our vegan uh, flora, which we absolutely love now and won't have anything else. So we switched to this a while back and to be honest guys, we absolutely love it. It's a really good replacement for um, your normal flora and can, and it's better for baking as well. So according to Bao, she absolutely loves this for baking because it's so much easier to use. I don't know. There we go. So, But that's, that's straight from Bao and she's great at baking. So anyway. Flora, and then we've got, um, so we've got a few pasta dishes coming up this week. So we've got some garlic breads for the kids there. So when they have pasta, pasta or pasta bake, I think either or really, or, or both. We might have a pasta night and a pasta bake night. So there's some garlic breads for them. And then there's some flatbreads as well. Um, just so in, I might have um, pasta as well this week, a pasta bake, so some flatbreads as well there. Uh, right, that's all that covered. Oh no, sorry, we've got froobs at the back there. So fruits are for packed lunches. So there's four boxes of fruits there because we've got through absolute tons last week for some reason. Um, yeah, don't know. So the, normally we'll get through about two to three boxes and we got through four last week. So go figure. Maybe everybody just fancy fruits. Who knows? Right then, moving across. We have wrap breads. We have coronation crumpets. These were in the... So he said these were in the sale. So she's bought them for a treat for breakfast. They're coronation crumpets, aren't they cool? With crowns on, right? And then we've got the normal crumpets or trumpets as the kids call them because um, the little 20s love these for their breakfast as well. So there's some crumpets there. And then we've got the Hovis bread. Uh, yeah, still not found anything else, guys. Hovis bread is still the one for us. There's a couple of um, couple of loaves there. And we're not, a loaf of bread normally lasts us about a day. 
maybe a, maybe a bit more. So it's a, probably a day, maybe a day and a half a loaf. Uh, so there's a couple of loaves there. Right then. So we have fruit gate this week. Uh, yeah, so Zoe was telling me when she came out that she couldn't get hold of um, all the fruit that she needed. Uh, and also, I think um, Isabel wanted some lemon, a, a lemon as well to make lemon drizzle cake. She's going to make lemon drizzle cake this week. We're not going to make it now because she can get a lemon. You'll have to try and get one from the co-op, Belle. I'm going tomorrow. Yeah, you'll have to try and get one from the Kopi. So anyway, uh, we have do have some fruit though. We have the um, red grapes there. We have green grapes. We have blueberries and we have raspberries. So we do have some fruit. And then in the pack of fruit up here, here we have Granny Smith apples and we have my favourite, which are the Zing and Chris Braven apples from Asda because they're absolutely lush. Right, moving now, cucumber. So cucumber there. Spring onions, right, there's a couple of packs of spring onions this week, and the spring onions are for sesame chicken. So one of the meals that Zoe spot, uh, has been asked to make by the girls, because now the girls are, are searching TikTok for ideas for baking, for ideas for meals and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so we're going to make, or I, I'm not going to make it, so Zoe said she'll make it. She's making sesame chicken this week, which sounds absolutely lush. So I'll run through the rest of the ingredients she's bought for that in a minute. Anyway, so there's spring onions there for that. Then we've got our lettuce there. Um, so we switched away from buying um, bags of leaf lettuce a long, long time ago now. My goodness, well, I must have been, I must have started talking about that a long time ago, months ago. And what we do is we buy a lettuce like that, we chop it all up, we wash it up and put it in tubs. And then that will last us probably a good four days uh, for sandwiches and salad and whatever else you want to use it for. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Then we've got some um, bagels there for um, Elizabeth likes to take these to college and stuff. There's some bagels. We've got some pan au chocolat. We're still buying the Saint Pierre ones because the pan au chocolats are vegan, which means they're milk free, which means Agnes can eat them if she wants, you see. So we're still trying, we're still buying these things just in case we can convince her to try uh, something new, you know. Right, moving down here then. We have some nice sausages tonight because me and Zoe fancied. Uh, we fancied some sausages, so she's bought us some of these six pork and, uh, and pork and caramelised red onion sausages. So they look nice. So that's our tea tonight. We've then got um, a bit of a biscuit top up because we've been out quite a bit. And when we go out, we normally scoff a pack of biscuits between everybody. Uh, you know, three or four biscuits each, or two, two, three, four biscuits each, whatever, for a snack. Um, and they're pretty much wipe out, uh, wipe out a packet in one walk. And as you know, we go out for quite a lot of walks, quite a lot of exercise and stuff like that. So there's a, a double pack of rich tea there, a double pack of, of McVitie's digestives there as well. Right, uh, what have we got here in the back then? Oh, did I say about Snacker Jacks? I must have missed the Snacker Jacks. I'm trying not to miss, a, miss anything this week because I missed a couple of items last week and it was annoying me. So anyway, uh, there's some Snacker Jacks there, which are Agnes and Joseph's favourite. And then there's some Snacker Jack packets there of the mini Snacker Jacks which they like to have to take to school. So, so Agnes likes to take them to school. So she takes one um, as, as her piece, as her snack. Right, then we've got some square crisps there, a 12 pack, we've got some pom bears there, some space raiders for Joseph, cause he loves those. We've got some pick, uh, not pickled onion, what's that flavor? That's um, prawn cocktail there. Uh, pom bears there for baby Flo, cause she likes to have a few on her plate as well. So she likes those salt and vinegar ones. Some discos there, multi pack of discos, and back there is a big bag of what's a firm family favourite. All right, then, so that's all that covered, right? Oh no, we've got, so we've got eggs as well. Got the eggs, I missed the eggs. So there's a pack of eggs there for baking this week. Yeah, for baking. Right, we've got some crunchy Nature Valley bars there for snacks, and then moving forward, we've got a load of chicken breast, and the chicken breast is for sesame chicken this week. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm really looking forward to it because it looks really nice because uh, the girl showed me the TikTok and it does look amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, then uh, we've got Zoe's bought korma and she's also bought uh, tikka masala this week. But that is pr that's primarily just to top up the cupboard because she did curry last week. We always like to keep things stocked up in the cupboard just in case we change our minds and we fancy cooking that instead. So that's that's an option in the cupboard. For, should, should, should Zoe change her mind or whatever? So there's curry there, and then let me talk about this again. So this is the pasta sauces. So we've got the tomato and garlic pasta sauce. There's two of those which the kids absolutely adore. They cannot get enough of that. So if you're if you're ever running out of ideas for your kids, try that. And then there's spicy tomato, tomato pasta sauce, which the older ones like. Uh, me and Zoe like as well. So there's two of those as well. 
There's also some hot dogs there for a Friday night quick tea, uh, especially when the girls go dancing all afternoon and, and stuff like that, and Zoe gets back and you just want to do something quick, cheap and cheerful. Uh, hot dogs is always a good bet, so that's those there. And then the, here we go, look, we've got the sesame oil for the chicken, sesame chicken and some rice wine vinegar to go with it as well, because I think that's for making up the marinade, I think. Here me go. There we go, Jamie Oliver, you got a hot heart out, yes, for the marinade. Right, and then we've got crunchy nut cornflakes there, some Rice Krispies there, and we've got corn flour there for mixing with the chicken, I believe, for the sesame chicken. I think that's what that's been bought for, I think. Yeah, it must be. Uh, and then we've got some honey nut clusters, some chocker hoops there, and moving down the front, we have tomato ketchup, so there's a couple of those. I've just switched arms for a second, so a couple of those. And then down the front, we've got um, onion granules and sesame seeds. Again, for this meal that Zoe's cooking this week. Um, we Because we've, we're trying lots of new things, so I think I'm going to have to make her a spice rack at some point. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll knock one together. I've got plenty of wood in the shed. Anyway, right, moving back then. So we've got a top up on the can. So we've got three cans of, of tomato soup under there. And then we've got some sausage and beans, uh, spaghetti rings and sausages, and... Another spaghetti rings and sausages there, so that's that one. And our most important thing of all is the coffee. So a coffee top up there for me and Zoe. Uh, moving down the front then, we've got the breakfast stuff. So we've got a big honey again. We get through one of these a week. And the jam there for toast and stuff. And then some spirali pasta because we've got, we bought a big bag of pasta last week. So we didn't need to top up on the pasta tubes. But the older girls like this stuff. So we've bought some of that for them because they really like it. Uh, and then up here we've got a bit of a top up on the noodles, the dreaded uh, <laughs> the dreaded debate on the kitchen roll. I'm not even getting into that. And uh, then we've got Dettol and Zoe's Bold there for washing tablets. So, guys, that is the top. And I believe, I'm going to check this week, but I haven't missed anything. I believe I haven't missed anything. So I'm just going to check. Have a quick look. No, I haven't. Aren't I good? There we go. Right then, guys. So we've looked after the cat this week. He's got his um, he's got his go cat biscuits, and then we've bought some bottles of water this week for the girls for going to their exams because they asked for some. And it's just easy. It's just a it's just a thing to take a little bottle of water while they're doing their exams and stuff. Right then, we've got the first bag of goodies. So we've got um, cotton paddy things there, and some. What else have we got? Shampoo. We've got um, head and shoulders and some Radox shower gels there and stuff like that. Some cream and that one. There we go. Lucky dip. Then uh, we don't didn't need too much frozen this week, guys, at all. So we've got our normal chicken burgers. Like I say, every week, go and check the playlist out. In fact, I've got a couple of videos tied to the playlist. That's just reminded me. I've got to do that. I keep forgetting. Um, so there's the chicken burger there. We've done a chicken burger video, so if you want to go check that out in the playlist. And then we've got the hash browns that go with the chicken burgers. We've got chips at the bottom of there. And then we've got the kids' chicken burgers there. A little stuff up there. Right then, next. we down here. We've got a few more toiletries this week. So there's a few toiletries this week and stuff. So we've got some hand wash down there. Some floor wipes. Some spray. Some toothpaste. Uh, oh look, there's even a tin foil thrown in there, and I'll and I'll, I'll tell you quickly tell you about that. That's the as, as the just essential tin tin foil. Honestly, guys, you think it's cheap? It's really good. Honest, it's really really good. Even though it is a cheap version of tin foil, it does just does the job. It's great. Honestly, we switched that yonks ago. Right then, and the last one over here is what we've got in here. A bit more frozen. We've got some chopped garlic there. Obviously, there with the sesame chicken. We've got some chicken nuggets. And we've got some sausages there. I think that's sausages. Yeah, sausages. Sausages, and we've got some potato lettuce. So that's the bottom as well, guys. All done and dusted. There we go. So there we go, guys. That's the uh, big grocery shop, the Tesco's as the haul this week. All done and dusted. For another week, uh, a few different choices in, in meals this week and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to the sesame chicken. I'm pretty sure there was something I was going to say about last week. And I can't remember what it was. We were going to test it out. 
Oh, I can't remember now. What was that? That's annoying, isn't it? Um, I'll try and remember. I'll try and remember what that, what that was. Because we tried we try something new. Anyway, it's gone. It's gone out of my mind. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that vlog. Uh, please stay tuned for more. Please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below. And on our channel homepage for all of our social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that kind of stuff, where there's more content to see from us. Um, yeah, guys, that just leaves me to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.